Grab your black eyeliner. We're gonna do it. Hey you guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Get Ready With Me. And for this one, we're gonna do a little bit of a Y2K twist because you know what? The Y2K revival is here and I am here for it because it was just such a nostalgic time in my life. That was when I was in middle school slash high school. And to be honest, I had a really wonderful high school experience. It was one of my favorite times of my life. Actually, I think it's the favorite time of my life. I loved high school so, so much. So for my makeup today, I am gonna be doing like a Y2K inspired makeup look. If you guys remember back in the day, the whole smudgy black liner ringed around the whole eye was a huge makeup trend and we're gonna do it today. We're gonna bring it back because again, I am here for it. I'm ready to relive those days. And there's definitely some trends I'm very excited about being back, but then there are some others that I am terrified of coming back. We'll get into it. I wanna do a little chit chat while I'm getting ready of all of the Y2K trends that are popping up right now. But if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I post three times a week, sometimes four if you know I'm feeling kind of saucy, but I would love to have you join my little YouTube family. Make sure to also hit that bell so you get notified of any time I have a new video. And please, you guys, don't forget to like and comment on this video. It lets me know to do more of these. And it also really, really helps out to support my channel. It's a free way that you guys can support my channel and it just takes seconds of your time. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys would make sure to interact with this video. But let's go ahead and get into my makeup because I'm actually doing my makeup because I'm gonna film a different video and I'm running out of daylight. Also Trevor will be home and he's gonna disturb me in the middle of the filming process of the second one so I gotta get this done now. Mm. Mm. I'm also still finishing up the Starbucks drink. I got the gummy bear refresher that was on TikTok and ugh, it's so good, like so good. Let's get started with primer. I'm gonna be doing like my base the same way because as much as I am excited to do a little bit of a Y2K inspired makeup look, the way I was doing my base back then was not cute. So I would wear this heavily ringed black liner eye in one of two different ways. The first way was I would wear it barefaced with absolutely no makeup on. Why? But you know what? My makeup routine was much more simple then. Or the other way I'd wear it is with foundation and I always wore foundation that was way too light for my face. Hence why you guys tend to see me lean towards foundations that are a little bit tanner just because I really hated seeing all the pictures where my face just looked completely washed out. So that is why I have a tendency when I'm in between shades to go with the deeper shade. And I just realized I don't have concealer. I will be right back. So for foundation, I'm just gonna go in with this Il Maquillage foundation. I'm also, I should say, I'm gonna be testing out and using some new products that I've gotten. Last week I posted a huge Ulta and Sephora haul. So I'm gonna be trying out some of those products today. And then I also wanted to tell you guys about this little sponge. This one is from Gina Co. I got it at Target. This is like their microfiber blending sponge and I really really like it a lot. I just like the finish that it gives me. I think it looks so airbrushed and so pretty and it doesn't soak up as much makeup as a traditional beauty sponge so I'm actually quite impressed by that. But do you guys see that? Like it gives such a good coverage. Anyways, so the Y2K revival, I mean honestly should have predicted this coming because the 90s revival has been a thing for so long so naturally obviously the 2000s would be the next logical kind of revival trend and there's some things that I'm so so happy about. First off I really have been seeing people do this like smudgy black liner look and I am so happy about that because I really loved this. You know it made my makeup so much simpler because I didn't have to deal with a winged liner which was always great. Winged liner just takes forever. As always I'm using Tarte Shape Tape but another trend that I am so happy about is the flat forms are back. Do you guys remember Rocket Dogs? Those were the best. I freaking love those because I'm 4'11". So it was a way I was able to give myself a little bit of height, but I still looked like really, really trendy. And I love that there's like so many versions of flat forms right now. It's really a trend that is popping off for the spring and summer. And I honestly have like three or four pairs at this point. I am all in on this trend. I honestly never want it to die. I can't go back now. I don't wanna wear heels and flat forms are just like the perfect answer because they're comfy, but they give you that height, which is just so great. Like anytime you can make yourself look slightly taller, usually it kind of elevates the outfit and elevates the look. So I love the fact that that option is back. I'm living for it. So one trend that I don't think it's like necessarily coming back, but I am hoping it comes back is Logomania. I 
really like logo stuff. It's just a thing that I've always definitely enjoyed. So when logos and labels were out, I was like, no, bring it back. You guys remember like rock aware and stuff? Ugh, such a fun time. Just setting with the Beauty Bakery flower setting powder. This stuff is so good, I love it. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this Patrick Ta. This is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzing Duo. This set is like so cool, I love this. But anyways, back to the trends. A few others that I'm really loving, especially in fashion, are the tie front tops. I love tie front tops. I think that they're so cute and like a great way to switch up your top. Another one is baguette bags. I personally don't use baguette bags a lot just because I carry a lot of stuff with me. You guys know I vlog pretty much every single week so I need a bag that can fit my vlog camera and baguette bags are definitely not a thing that could do that. So that's a trend that I don't really get on, although I do buy very inexpensive ones and I style them for my looks on Instagram, but I don't have any like true functional baguette bags, but I love them. I think that they're so cute. Definitely happy that those are back as well. Why does my face look so light? I totally just did what I said I wasn't gonna do. I think I'm getting tan. So this Il Maquillage shade, I think might be too light for me. I've been spending some time in the sun. Oh wait, I'm using, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I started using daily the coolest sunless tan moisturizer and that's why I look tan. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But yeah, I may need to update my foundation color because I'm looking in touch paler than I would like to. Going in with the Urban Decay, what is this? These Stay Naked The Fix powder. I use the shade 60NN. I always need to powder no matter what. I'm so oily. And I do powder over the contour just to kind of like blend it a little bit more. And then I will go over it with a bronzer. And I feel like that way too also helps it to last longer throughout the day because I have like two different layers going on sandwiched in between the powder. Back to the Patrick Ta palette. Gonna go into the bronzer down here on the bottom. Bronze up the skin. Was bronzer in back in the early 2000s? I feel like I at least was wearing bronzer because I like looking tan. So I feel like that's something that if it wasn't in, I was doing anyways. <laughs> I love bronzer. I just feel like it just changes your face. I'm gonna kind of go all over just since I'm looking a touch paler than I want to. But I like this set a lot. I think that the color is really pretty. It goes on very smoothly and it blends out really, really nicely. So I recommend this. Okay, and of course your guys' battery is dying, so I will be right back. All right, and we're back and now we're gonna go into the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection I Love Palette. I'm gonna go in first with this kind of like beige shade and just do it all over the eye. But you guys know like another trend that I'm really happy is back is the like sheer and mesh clothing. I don't think I ever stopped wearing that trend. I love it. I think it's like a great way to, you know, have your outfit be a little bit sexy without being like too sexy. I mean, depending on how you style it, but I think that that's definitely a fun one. Next up, I'm gonna go into this middle kind of pinky neutral shade and just dust my crease with it. Another trend that I really like that's back, but I cannot rock it. I tried to rock it back in the 2000s and I think I thought it looked better than it did on me. I see other girls do it and it looks so cute on them, but just whenever I try to do it, I honestly God look like Prison Mike and it's bandanas. I think that ugh, the girls who can pull that off, I'm so jealous. It's so, so cute, but it's definitely not for me. I just, I'm not cool enough to pull that off. I have definitely accepted my place in this. It's okay. I've already cried over it. I've mourned the loss of that trend for myself. But you know what? Let's move on to some trends that I am really hoping do not come back because I'm gonna throw a fit if they do. Number one low rise jeans and i know that they actually are back but i need that trend to not get any bigger the whole low rise jeans trend just kind of like did a number on my freaking self-esteem it was so so bad i mean who the hell decided to bring low rise jeans in Ugh, when i saw that that was back in i like honestly almost had a panic attack i was like nope i am not jumping on that train there's no way in hell you can get me to do low rise jeans again. I already served my sentence with those. We're done. Oh, FYI, I went in with this dark brown shade and I'm just putting it on the lid. Another trend that I'm hoping does not come back. I haven't seen it come back and I think we all have more than enough sense to not let this trend come back, but it is the dresses over the jeans and pants. What were we thinking, you guys? Can someone 
please shed some light on that. What the hell were we thinking? And don't get me wrong, I got in on that trend and I am forever embarrassed and ashamed about it, but I mean, you know what, it was what was in at the time. Another trend that I got in on that I'm really hoping never ever sees the light of day again is gaucho pants. <sighs> That was one of the worst mistakes that we ever made as a society when it came to fashion in the early 2000s. <sighs> Ooh, see, my freaking concealer is even mad about the gaucho pants. Along with that, freaking bolero sweaters. We are not all bullfighters. Why was that a thing for a little while? I'm just blending the two together right now. But seriously, why was that a thing? That was so dumb. Who started the bolero jacket trend? I, I just want to talk. So I'm gonna go in and mix these two together, the brown with this pink, tap it out, and I'm just gonna kind of smoke out this lower lash line. Go ahead and let it connect up top. I'm so excited for this. I honestly haven't done this yet at all. This is my first time doing a fully lined eye since circa 2008 or something like that. But I do have to say, you know a trend that, you know, is so controversial between millennials and Gen Z that I am actually on Gen Z's side about is getting rid of skinny jeans. I cannot stand skinny jeans. I did them for a hot second and honestly, I was lying to myself over how uncomfortable they are. I never again. I'm so here for the baggy jeans trend. I'm not really so much a big fan of flares for myself, but I like them on other people. Straight leg jeans, love those. I think that's about as skinny as I'll go now because I just don't want to feel like my leg is confined and like a sausage in a pair of jeans. You know, I'm I'm here for the room. Thank you guys for trying to champion this cause. I am with you on it, Gen Z. All right, you guys, we've come to the big thing here. Grab your black eyeliner. We're gonna do it. I'm just gonna ring all the way around, all the freaking way, just like I'm back in high school but this time I have more sense because I have more makeup on the rest of my face. Let me start on the bottom, which I always do. I've already messed up. I forgot how to do this. It's fine, because I'm gonna smudge it. And the top. I didn't used to do my waterline, so I would have liner on the top here and no liner on my waterline, and it just like would look so disconnected. Again, you know, you get older, you learn. I'm gonna do just a little bit on top here. We are gonna blend it out so you can make it messy. Oh my God, I miss this. This feels nostalgic, just doing this alone. Ooh, you guys didn't know another trend that I really would be so happy with us not bringing back is those popcorn shirts. Do you guys remember those? They like started off this tiny, it was almost like a bubble kind of texture and then they like stretched out when you wore them. Why were those a thing? Seriously, I'm sure that we'll look back on some trends that are happening right now and be like, why was that a thing? But I feel like that one in particular was like a crime against fashion. Who authorized that? I just, again, I just wanna talk. So I'm gonna go back into the Isla palette, taking the black shade right here, and we're gonna smudge this liner. Calling on 16 year old me muscle memory right now on how to do this. And then smudging out the top. I feel like I'm not using the right brush. Do you guys remember when this was like such a big thing? The eyeliners would come with like a little smudger on the end. I'm sure that there are some that still do, but I don't have one of those. By the way, this liner that I'm using is my favorite pencil liner of all time. It's so freaking good. This is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen and I definitely need a refill very soon. We're smudging. <gasps> Who is she? Like, let's bring this back. I love this, oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. Got some in my eye, as was always the case whenever I did this. I remember I used to try to be so fast about this because like, I started doing this in middle school and I actually wasn't allowed to wear makeup. So once I got to school and I went to a Catholic private school until eighth grade, I would like run to the bathroom and use your finger to smudge too. Don't be afraid of that. That's part of it. But anyways, I would like run to the bathroom, pull out my liner and just freaking ring my eyes and just like rub it out and I just walk back into class all of a sudden with these raccoon eyes and no other makeup on. That's where I started my makeup journey. What a time. Love. It does pull down the eye a little bit, but you know what, I don't care. I just like, I feel 16 again. Since this goes like all the way across, it's not like a winged outliner or anything like that. I'm gonna go in with a full strip. I've been very into the half strip lashes, but I feel like you can really only wear those when you're doing like that cat eye kind of situation. This definitely requires the full strip. 
I don't think I've ever done this eyeliner look with false lashes. This whole thing was before my false lashes days, so I'm excited to see how it's gonna look with lashes added in. I think that that'll be interesting. Also, the lash glue I use is the best in the world, the Velour Lash Adhesive. I use the black one. It's wonderful, you guys. I just, I love it. Again, that was in my latest haul if you guys wanna check it out. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush, and I'm not gonna do too much just because when it comes to lining your whole eye, if you do too much on the face then you know it just it's a whole hot mess just make the eyes the focus simple chic not really but you know close enough and then I'm gonna do something that I never used to do and I am still so embarrassed that I never used to do it I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows I literally would walk around with my freaking raccoon eyes like this and no brows on and it was worse than what you guys are seeing right now right now I do have brows I have some like leftover microblading on them that I need to touch up but yeah, I would walk around. I wouldn't touch my damn eyebrows. Even if I had a full face of foundation and this freaking black eye didn't touch my eyebrows. Oh my God, we've come so far. We've come so far. Oh, I really, I really gotta go get my brows done. I know I've been saying that for months, but things just keep coming up and it's so expensive to microblade your eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just set my face really quick. Another thing that I did not used to do back in the day. And one more thing I didn't used to do back in the day, but we're gonna do today, but we're gonna keep it subtle since it is 2000s inspired, is just a little bit of highlighter. I'm not gonna use a heavy highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this Essence Pure Nude. This is their Sun Lighter. This just gives a really, really pretty, very natural kind of a sheen. You guys can see it's not too much, just a touch, just enough to kind of give the face some dimension, but not anything too crazy although it looks crazy just because i have lights hitting it but in person it's just like the sheerest little bit of luminance on the cheeks and then i am also going to highlight the inner corners of my eye again a thing i didn't used to do but when did i start doing this i can't remember but this is like one of my favorite steps of makeup is finishing off that inner corner and that brow bone i just feel like it pulls everything together Let's go ahead and put the lashes on. I haven't put on a full strip lash in so long. How do I do? Oh shoot, mascara, idiot, sorry. Just gonna go in with a little bit of a Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I got myself a new one and I, oh my God, I feel so much better now. Oh, speaking of this mascara, I didn't use the mascara either. I would literally just line my eyes. No mascara, no upper waterline. Just a ring of black floating around my freaking eye. I think I've definitely done a better job today. Now let's put this damn lash on. Random thought here, do you guys remember AIM? God, I miss those days. When the guy I had a crush on either, you know, did me dirty or just wasn't paying attention to me. Then I'd put the freaking song lyrics as my away message. Ugh. And it was always an emo song. Cause I thought I was so hardcore. I wasn't like emo or anything, but I definitely did do some of those trends from like the emo community. All right, cute. I'm sure not everyone thinks that this is cute, but you know what? This was the style back then. That's how we did our makeup. So when it came to lips, <laughs> You basically just like essentially put concealer on your lips and then maybe a gloss. So we're gonna do that, not with actual concealer. Let me go grab, well, I was trying to decide if I should do Beeper, which is gonna actually be a color. You know, no, I'm gonna do the damn thing. Let me go get a nude lipstick. So I'm not gonna go as crazy as we used to go. Essentially, you wanted it to look like you just ate a powdered donut, then put gloss right over your lips. And that, you know, we're not gonna do that. It wasn't cute, but we are gonna be inspired by that. So I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Natasha Denona. This is Claudia from her I Need a Nude collection. It's not that like ultra light nude, but it is a nude on me. We're gonna take just, just a touch of concealer, just literally that much. Go right in the center, top and bottom of the lip. Ooh, look at that. She's about to go out to those 18 and over clubs. And then for a gloss, I had to go with this one if we're talking a Y2K revival. This is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss from ColourPop. And I had to go with it, not because of the color, but because of this tube. Like how nostalgic is the shape and like, whole entire concept of this tube. I'm into it, I love it. By the way, ColourPop, I know that this is old news, came out though with a Lizzie McGuire collection and uh, I was so mad that I missed it. Just a little bit right over. Honestly, you guys, I, I could head out to an 18 and over club right now. Just like back in the day, this is essentially what I would look like except for the face is 
much better than it used to be. But we're gonna do my hair too. The hair isn't really like a Y2K thing. I am gonna use the waver again. But to kick it off, I'm gonna go in with my IGK. This is the first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. It's the one that I showed in my haul. I go in here. I just got back from the gym, so need a little help. And then I'm gonna get a brush and my wig. Now that it's sat in there for a little while, you guys can see that white cast. I'm just gonna shake it in a little bit just to start. Look like a freaking cave woman. <laughs> also, too, how many times have I gotten up during this video? I forgot so much. Okay, and then just brush it out. The first time I used this waver, I actually sectioned out my hair. I'm not gonna do that this time, just to get a little bit of a smoother, less puffy kind of style going. I'm gonna work from the back to the front. I typically don't do that. I typically start in the front, but with this waver, for some reason, I always feel like starting in the back. I'm just not gonna hold it for too long because I think I held it for too long the first time I did it. It was just a little bit puffier than I wanted it, so. Sorry, you guys are gonna be seeing this mirror, but I need it. Okay, so for the top layers, what I'm gonna do different than last time is I'm gonna start further down. I think that as well contributed to the puffiness. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, this hairstyle actually is totally like 2000s nostalgia because do you guys remember Lizzie McGuire? She would always have like those crimps in her hair and it was just like the streaks that came out of her ponytail just like one or two sections of hair had crimps in it <laughs> what were we doing back then seriously but i am sad that the lizzie mcguire revival isn't happening who the hell botched that once again you guys i just want to talk with my fists yes <laughs> See, I could just like throw my hair up in like some weird wacky do, a couple of chopsticks, leave out a couple of these crimped pieces, and I would totally be Hillary Duff. Also, aren't mini skirts back? Sorry, going back to the trends again. I'm actually really happy about mini skirts being back because I can't wear a midi skirt. I'm too short for it. It just hits me in the wrong spot, and midi skirts just have a tendency to make me look shorter than I am unless I like style it in a specific way, aka I need to be wearing heels of some sort with it. And I also have to be very careful with the length of the top that I wear with midi skirts. So I'm so happy that mini skirts are back. Those never left me, if I'm being quite honest. I all of a sudden have crushed by Mandy Moore stuck in my head, which by the way, oh my god. Speaking of that song, which I think is why I have it stuck in my head, Michelle and I went slightly viral on TikTok. We did like a little, I think it was called like Sickening Bubblegum Pop 2000 song, something like that. And Candy by Manny Moore was the first song on that. And it just vibes. I actually have quite a few 2000 songs stuck in my head right now. S Club 7 is stuck in my head right now. S Club Party. There really ain't no party like an S Club Party. Cause I would know, cause I obviously went to one. Or I could just like do a whole emo thing and just leave that straight. <laughs> party to the side. There we go. Ooh, I love this. Okay, I think the adjustments that I just made work. This is what I was going for. Perfect. Love it, okay. And lastly, just a little bit of shine spray. God, this smells like a freaking salon, I love it. Just to kind of smooth it out, if you guys are wondering, this is the BioSilk Silk Therapy Shine On Spray. I love this stuff, it's so good. I totally forgot about it and I just like recently rediscovered it and obsessed. But all right, you guys, anyways, that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little 2000s inspired makeup look, you know, with the black liner, love it. And I hope you guys also enjoyed our little chit chat down memory lane, talking about the Y2K trends that are coming back that I'm excited for and also that I'm absolutely terrified for. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon again in my next video. Bye.